Thank you so much, Danny. This is the service and attention I expected when dealing with a company like BMW. You have just won a customer for life. Thank you very much. How you doing? My name is uh, Mike Strasser. I was hoping you could help me today. Sure. Uh, how can I help you, Mr. Strasser? Okay, here's the story. My family and I were vacationing in Florida two weeks ago for winter break, and my 5 Series broke down on the way home. We called roadside assistance, and they towed my car to the closest dealership in South Carolina. Okay, so uh, what seems to be the problem, sir? Well, we had to get back home to get the kids back to school, so we flew home. Roadside was great. They explained the trip interruption benefits to cover the cost of our return, and they would reunite me with my car back here in New Jersey. Yeah, no, that's a great benefit to have when you get stuck out on the road, sure. Yeah, I got the car back yesterday, and the rear bumper was scratched and caved in. Here's the receipt the uh, tow truck driver gave me with his name and number on it. Okay. okay. I, uh, I called the number listed and left a message, but nobody called me back yet. How can you help me with this? Um, yeah, I mean, you're probably going to have to get in touch with BMW Roadside Assistance. I mean, they're independent from us. There really isn't much I can do from over here. Um, have you tried calling your insurance company yet? Uh, my insurance company? Uh, no, not yet. I wasn't driving the car. It wasn't mine or my insurance company's fault. The yeah, best bet is to give the roadside a call. I mean, uh, there's not much I can do from here. Is there someone else I could talk to here? Uh, you know, not really. You know, like I said, they're an independent service. Uh, best bet is to give them a call. I, I can get you the phone number if you'd like. Unbelievable. A company like BMW? Thanks for nothing. I can get you the number for uh, roadside. He's another satisfied customer. Hey, Danny, what happened? So some guy came over here, was complaining. Uh, he had his car towed up here from South Carolina by roadside. I guess I messed up the bumper. Well, what'd you tell him? I told him to call roadside. Lou, what are we going to do about it? It's not like it happened here. What do you mean we can't help him? Don't you remember in last week's staff meeting, we talked about Alan Harris's after-sales strategy and our center working towards being the benchmark in customer experience? Alan who? Alan Harris, the VP of After Sales. I have an 8x10 picture of him in my office. Nina Englert from Customer Relations has a whole wall dedicated to the guy. I, I, I know who you're talking about. He's the guy with the funny accent. But this After Sales strategy, what's it going to do for us, Lou? Danny, you got a lot to learn. Come to my office. Let's talk about what it means to set the benchmark and why it's important to our success. Danny, I know you're new to this business. There are a few basics, however, that if you get them squared away, you're going to do very well in the automobile business. Our customers can pretty much choose any brand they want to, and our ability to provide a uniquely satisfying service experience is our edge in separating ourselves and making us stand out from the competition. Hello, I thought it was our job to fix cars. Sure, that's a given. But our goal is to be different by creating a memorable and pleasant service experience so they'll keep coming back to us. And that means both fixing cars and customers. I thought the customer wants us to get the cars in and out as quickly as possible. Isn't that our job? Absolutely. We want to be as efficient as possible. But only if we address and correct their concerns. We have to view their problem as our opportunity. You know that in this business, there'll always be problems to solve. And in the customer's mind, it's all about how effective we are in solving those problems. All right, well, I guess I can see what you're saying. We have to put ourselves in their position first, sure. Danny, you're catching on now. The proven wisdom is that we in the service department are a key influence on customers purchasing and even repurchasing the car. The bottom line is, if we don't take care of our customers, someone else will. All right, well, I, I think I get that. I mean, it makes sense. If we think ahead and anticipate our customers' needs, they're never really going to have to ask for great service. Danny, I think you've got it. You are on your way. If only I could go back, I think I would have handled the situation with Mr. Stresser a little bit differently. It's your lucky day, mate. I have one of these um, time back turn of one thingies just for these types of occasions. But if you don't do it right, it'll come back and hit you in the noggin. Hi, how are you? My name is Mike Stresser. I was hoping you could help me today. Sure. Uh, how can I help you, Mr. Stresser? My family and I were vacationing in Florida two weeks ago for winter break, and my 5 Series broke down on the way home. We called roadside assistance, and they towed my car to the closest dealership in South Carolina. Uh, well, what can I do for you? How can we help? 
Well, we had to get back home to get the kids back to school, so we flew home. Roadside was great, and they explained the trip interruption benefits to cover the cost of our return, and they also reunited us with our car back in New Jersey. Well, we got the car back yesterday, and the rear bumper is all scratched and caved in. Here's the receipt that the tow truck driver gave me with his name and number on it. You know what, don't worry. I'm sure we can resolve this, Mr. Stresser. I mean, if you have the car here right now, take it over to our certified collision repair center. We can have them right up a repair estimate for you. Uh, while we're waiting, we also give a call over to the roadside and lodge a complaint on your behalf. Um, if you have any of your travel expenses, receipts uh, for lodging, food, anything like that, you can also put in a separate claim under uh, roadside's trip interruption program as well. Oh, that would be great help. Uh, the car is drivable and I have it here right now. I just don't like driving it. It's, it looks really ugly. Hey, listen, I totally understand. If it was me, I wouldn't want to drive a vehicle like that either. Uh, you know, we just need to get the damages estimate first. Uh, once we lodge the complaint, we can set up on a time that's convenient for you, and we can also get your BMW loaner car. Oh, that's great. And, you know, I do want to repair it as soon as possible. All right, well, don't worry. I'm sure we can get this rolling as soon as possible. Uh, you know, and while the vehicle's in, we can also take a look over and make sure there's nothing else wrong with it uh, mechanically. Oh, uh, thank you so much. I would really appreciate that. It's the least we can do. I mean, with the, the trouble you've been through. Thank you so much for your concern. I know it's not your fault. But it's a new car, and you know, none of this should happen in the first place. Listen, Mr. Stresser, I totally agree. And while we can't make up for your lost time, uh, the least we can do is offer to uh, uh, offer a gift certificate, take your family out to Aldo's Bistro right here in town, have a nice dinner on us uh, just for your trouble, sir. Oh, thank you so much, Danny. This is the service and attention I expected when dealing with a company like BMW. You have just won a customer for life. Thank you very much.